Everyone's talking about taking down the Confederate flag. We wanted to see who's still buying it. Okay, just to give you a flavor of the different type of Confederate gear they have here in the store. This is a flag for $5. This is a cutting board, about $17. This right here, 100% Egyptian cotton sheets. This is Joel, a loyal customer and the only guy in the strip mall willing to talk to us. What does this flag represent to you? My heritage. In 1861, South Carolina was the first state to stand up for its own rights. The history of that flag has so much to do with the Southern heritage, not slavery. And to take a magnifying glass and exemplify one subject that is not good, that no human being should ever own another. But to say that the entire culture and our heritage was wrong for 1% of what went on is, is just really sad. At a tourist area close to where slaves were once auctioned, everyone had an opinion. What does this flag represent to you? I would say insubordination. It's like a symbol of hate, I guess, to me. I mean, for what it means or what it stands for, I mean, why does it fly higher than the American flag? I'm just, that's my opinion, but. Let's just say uh, pride. Prejudice, pre prejudice or pride? The past. It, that's what it means to me. It means the past. I grew up in the South, and it's just part of our heritage. I'm from a city of five flags, and that is one of the flags that we represent in our city. And so to us, it is not just about racism. It is about our Southern heritage. And what if people say, well, part of that representation of the South is the history of slavery? That's history. I mean, history is history. I mean, you can look all over the world, and there's history of good and bad, but this is just part of our history.